How you doing guys? Another little DIY project. Raining again, can't get out. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to make one of these if you're on a budget. Now, the one I'm gonna show you, I quite enjoy using it more than this to be honest, because this is a bit too heavy. But what I'm gonna show you what to make is one of these. And it's all done out of PVC pipe. That's a bit of um, downpipe from the gutter. And this is just normal water pipe. So anyway, I'll show you what to do. I've already cut a few pieces here. There's the piece going to be for the bottom. And then the smaller piece here, which I shall cut and then I shall open it up and flatten it off with a heat gun so I can make an end cap for the end. Anyway, we'll get to it and I'll show you what I'm doing. Alright, first thing I need to do, I want to cut some little tiny pieces off of here, about oh, probably less than 10 millimeters thick. I'll show you what they're for later. So I need two of those. Okay, next thing, I'm just going to cut these two and I'm going to cut this one down through there. Alright, now the tricky bit. What we need to do is cut this at about 45, 50 degree angle. Uh, this one here which I cut, I'm going to cut it again on the other side, Let's have two pieces. bucket of lead. Okay, we'll just leave that on there for a few minutes. All right, they've been there a few minutes. Got my flat plastic. What I want to do now is get that marked onto there. So the easiest way of doing it, I'm just going to put it on top, hold it down. When you're holding it down, try not to squash it or anything because that will change the shape of it. Okay, cut this out. Okay, next thing I want to do is find the, the bottom, the center of the bottom, so we can start laying out for all the holes. And also, I'll need to find the top. found out doing the other ones that I've done is these steel rulers if you do the width of that then they work out just right for the holes distance between the holes that you've got to drill in it Right, we 
we got to think about here is this inside piece. You've got the section that runs along there. So you want to try and keep it that way. The easiest way I found of doing these holes is using one of these step bits and I make the holes 18 millimeters. Right, just under three quarters of an inch, 18 millimeters. And that's it, just gotta go mad. Okay, well here's the holes done. I've not gone to that row. I want to try and keep a bit of strength in the top for when we put the handle on. Um, I don't go too close to the edge here. Because um, you only scoop in there and you do all your sieving back in that piece. So I'll do the holes in the back in a minute. There we go, there's the holes in the end. Inch and a quarter, 34 millimeters, piece of pipe. Now what I did was I had two pieces the same, cut it down through the middle with a saw. I actually did it on my table saw, but you can do it with a saw, I've done it with a saw. Um, to cut a piece out of it, and then slid that inside another piece. So I don't know if you can see, that is actually two, two pieces of pipe. Just to put a bit more strength into it. The angle that you need to cut on here is about 70 degrees, seven zero, for that to go on there. And I found that to be about the right sort of angle. The other thing you'll probably want to do is take a beveled file and just try and round it slightly just so that it you know fits a bit better on the on the top of the pipe i want to put um a short piece of wood into the base of the handle um and glue it in there so when this is on top, I can put a screw up through here and into the wood in the base of the handle. You'll see what I mean in a bit. What I've got, I've got a hole both sides. When I, when this was used for a different thing, I had a bolt, I think it was, straight through. Um, so I might put a couple of screws in it, but I'm not gonna go very far. I'm only gonna go in just a little bit, just to give it a bit of strength. Um, and silicone it in there. That's it. All right, so I've cut this to length and I've cut 70 degree angle on the end. I just want to take it just under there. So I'll put a bit of this Next thing I've got to do is I've drilled a hole in here so you can see there's going to be a, a bolt coming through and I want to put a pilot hole in the middle there. So that's the next thing I've got to do. Okay, so what I've got, I've just cut this piece of plastic which I'm going to glue inside here just to give that a bit more strength on the top and then I got the bolt which I'll stick through into the bottom of the post. So I'll get this glued up into there first and I'll come back. All 
Alrighty. So what I've done, I had two pieces of plastic and I've glued those together. And then I shall silicone silicone that in there. And then obviously I shall have to let leave it all cure and harden off. I shall put a bead of silicone around here as well. I'll just go a bit mad with the silicone. Well, okay, here it is. It's all siliconed up. Might need to put a bit more silicone on it yet. We'll see what it's like tomorrow. I'll leave it for 24 hours. Let it harden off. But yeah, one sound scoop. Next time you see it, I'll be using it, hopefully. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.